Good morning everyone, welcome to another week of home learning. We finished our fractions unit last week, which flows nicely into our next topic, which is decimals. So, have a look at this image. It says, we don't normally say 0.75 of a cake. When do we use decimals? And if you see here, there is a cake on some scales and we can see that it weighs 1.5 kilograms. So, are there any other times where you see decimals used in the real world? Have a little think, and that's something you can just discuss with whoever's with you, or make some notes about. It's just a little something to get your brain going. Right, let's have a little recap of what that video just told us. So, we know that now that one one, so one whole, is made up of ten tenths. So, here we have this square is showing one whole. And this is showing the pink shaded section is one tenth of one, the whole. So this is one tenth. So here, one tenth, we have displayed as a fraction, one tenth, but one tenth as a decimal is 0.1 or 0.1. So we read 0 0.1 as 1 tenth, and the dot is the decimal point. Let's compare these two numbers, 0 0.1 and 1. Which number is bigger? So here is 0 0.1, and here is 1. So which number is bigger? Well. We can clearly see that the one, the whole, is the greater, the bigger number. One is 10 times as much as 0 0.1. So it's 10 times more than 0 0.1. Right, so here's your first mini task. It says, write the number represented in each diagram as a decimal. So, part A is a whole square. So, this little girl is saying it is one. Part B, you have three tenths, shaded in three, th the three tenths are shaded, and the little boy is saying three tenths, and so on with nine tenths, and with five tenths. So, Pause the video here. Can you write in the blue box, or say, say it out loud, you don't have to write it down, you can just point and say the number. What is each number as a decimal? So how would you represent three tenths as a decimal, nine tenths as a decimal, and five tenths as a decimal? Pause the video here, have a quick go at that, and then come back. Okay, how did you get on? So let's look at part B first. So we have three tenths. So this is three tenths here, which we, written as a decimal, is 0 0.3. And nine tenths is 0 0.9. And therefore five tenths is 0 0.5. So now let's have a quick look at decimals displayed as bar models. So we can see clearly here that this bar model displays a whole. These are 10 tenths, and we know that 10 tenths is the same as one whole, so it's the same as one. So here, shaded in, we have one tenth, and one tenth as a decimal is 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Part B, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tenths shaded in. So we represent 7 tenths as a decimal number, which is 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And then part C, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 parts of our tenths shaded in, so we have four tenths, which as a decimal number is 0 0.4, 0 0.4.
Okay, here is your first little exercise, sorry, actually your second exercise we did a little bit earlier. So, part A says, well, we have one tenth shaded in. So, one tenth is the same as one tenth as a fraction, but what is it as a decimal? How would you show one tenth as a decimal? Part B has all three boxes empty, so you need to tell me how many tenths and then you need to show me those number of tenths as a fraction and then as a decimal. And then part C, again, how many tenths are shaded in? I'd then like to see those tenths as a fraction and then finally as a decimal. So pause the video here and then we will go through it. Okay, let's see how you got on. I'm gonna do this with a pen. So bear with me. So one tenth, and then as a fraction is one over 10. So one as a numerator, 10 as the denominator. As a fraction, it would be naught, sorry, as a decimal, naught point one. Then here on part B, we can see we have three tenths shaded. So I would put a three here, three tenths. As a fraction, that would be three, gosh, bear with me. tenths, so tenths is my denominator, three is my numerator, three tenths, and then as a decimal, naught point three. Part C, we can see we have eight tenths shaded in, so I would do eight tenths as a fraction, eight And then as a decimal, 0 0.8. So, hopefully you got that right. If you didn't, maybe have a look at these answers and see where you might have gone wrong. But I'm sure you've all managed to get that right. So, a number line is another way of representing tenths within a whole. The number line can either be split into decimals or fractions. So let's have a look at a number line that is split into both decimals and fractions. As you can see here, we have a number line that stretches from zero all the way to one. So we know that one tenth is the same as 0 0.1, two tenths, 0 0.2, three tenths, sorry, 0 0.3, four tenths, 0 0.4, and so on. So this whole, this one, is then split into tenths. This is how we, dis sorry, this is how we talk about numbers that are less than one. We talk about them using decimals. So each line, so the gap between each line, represents 0 0.1 or one tenth. So let's have a look at the number line below. What number is shown on the number line? So this is something you can do. You can say it out loud with me or we'll do it. I'll do it along with you. So we have an arrow, an orange arrow, pointing at a line in between the numbers two and three. So to find the number the arrow is pointing to, we need to count up in tenths until we reach the arrow. Remember to check the which, sorry, which whole numbers the tenths are between. So our tenths are between 2 and 3 and we need to count up in tenths. So we need to go 2 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5. So the arrow on the number line is pointing to 2.5. And then we would go on 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, We wouldn't say 2.10 because we know that 10 would be the whole, so we need to go up to the next whole number. Okay, here's your last little in-lesson task to do before you move on to your worksheet. So it's to do with decimals on a number line. 
And the question is, which numbers are the arrows, the two arrows, pointing to? So, we have, they will be, remember we need to count up in tenths, and we need to think about the, the whole numbers on either side. So we're counting between 0 and 1. So we're counting in tenths. So what number is this arrow pointing to? And then what number is this arrow pointing to? So pause the video here, count along the number line, and then come back and we all have a look. Right, so we are counting in tenths between 0 and 1. And we're counting, so we'll go 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1. So the two arrows are pointed to, one is the first one is pointed to 0 0.2 on the number line, and the second one is pointed to 0 0.7 on the number line. Right, Year 5, it is now over to you. You have a worksheet to complete which is to do with tenths as decimals. So remember, if you get stuck at any point, come back to this video, find the part of the video that's relevant to what you're stuck with, and then play it and all should become clear. Good luck.